This episode was sponsored by Antique Barber, your favorite barber's barber brand. watching Barber World TV. I'm your host, Kamal Nuru. You also know me as Zomega Millions, and today I'm in character as the Antique Barber. We're here at the International Hair and Beauty Show in Secaucus, New Jersey. I'm here with, with my pleasure to bring to you Johnny Cakes, celebrity barber, and most formerly known as being the barber for Jay-Z. How you doing, brother? And uh, just say something to the people on Bar World TV who never got an opportunity to meet you. What up? My name is Johnny Cake the Barber. Uh, I cut for Jay Z, and I'm in the house right now. I'm a little nervous when my man here. You know that this is what he do, and I'm here to support this. You know, support the industry. Began in the barber industry. Um, it started off at home, like most of us guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. It started off at home, in the bathroom, Mom Dukes. You know what I'm saying? Getting tired of me cutting hair in the bathroom, having hair everywhere. And I have an uncle and a grandfather that's a barber. That's a, that's a barber. In the blood. In the blood. In the blood. So she's like, yo, it's about time you go take your, 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 little, your little gift and take it out there and let him polish you up. Right. So where did you start at? Where are you originally from? Um, from Inglewood, New Jersey. Okay. I started in Inglewood. My grandfather's barbershop is, like I said, is in, in New York. Okay. I went there, he taught me the razor, the the scissors, you know, just like polish me up, you know what I'm saying? Right. And in New York, there's a lot of competition. I was like, you know what, I gotta go back to the suburbs with it. Okay. Picked it up and I made a name for myself and I don't know, man. I, like I always said, I, I, I always get asked, how did I get started? How did, how did I pull it off? Right. All I can say is I was the right place at the right time and it's been a blessing ever since. So how was the introduction made? Did you cut somebody in the rock? And then that led to Jay-Z, or did someone recommend Jay-Z to you? Yeah, it was actually my friend. My friend was uh, my man Rob. He was Damon Dash, like, right-hand man slash assistant. I used to cut his hair. He used to stay sharp. I used to cut him, like, twice a week. Okay. And Damon was like, yo, I like your cuts, you know what I'm saying? Who's your barber? Plug me up. Plug me up. Cut him once at his house. He flew me out to the Hamptons where they had, like, you know what I'm saying, a little, little vacation shit. Jay was there, and I flew in on a helicopter, and Jay was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who this dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's my barber, blah, blah, blah. blah. Right, well, he must be nice you flying him out here. Right. So he gave me, you know, he gave me opportunity, and here we are now. That was like 98. I mean, being the barber for Jay-Z, I mean, that must have led you. Your passport must, Jay-Z said something, he said something about the stamps on his passport. So what's yours looking like, and what's the, the would you say, the place that you've gone with your clippers that's blown you away. Oh man, yeah, I definitely got a lot of stamps. My, my freaking flying miles is crazy. Um, I've been as far as Africa, Romania, Brazil, um, everywhere, man. Japan, Tokyo, like, so places when I, I wouldn't normally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So do you cut him when he's here and then he, or does he take you on tour or does he take you out for special events? Um, yeah. When I first started, I, I was able to, you know what I'm saying, go out and stay out on tour with him and, you know, do my little three days and come back. Now we just set dates that he's going to need me where I'm able to fly out, you know what I'm saying, do what I do and fly back. So in the meantime, in, in New Jersey, do you have your own shop? Yeah, yeah, I got a shop. It's in Englewood, New Jersey. Um, it's called The Shop. I'm, I've been there since 2003. And we're still rocking. It became a little landmark. Now, how does that work out with your regular clientele? They very understanding that sometimes you won't be around, and who takes care of them when you're on the road? The dudes that I that deal with me, I gotta give them my respect, and you know, give them give them that shout out. I appreciate you know you dealing with what I what I do, and them dudes like understand what I what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? They've been there since first. They see me grow, and they understand that I gotta do what I gotta do. And the loyalty is always there where they wait around because that's, that's, that's the thing with me. I like doing my, my trips, my so-called trips when I do one day. Okay. I go to L.A., boom, boom, that one day, so I'm able to fulfill my, 
my customers back home, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just let them know, yo, it's gonna be a day, Come, you know? Right. You'd rather wait a, a day than get a, a haircut and be with a messed up haircut for yeah, three yeah, weeks. Not like what you do. Exactly. Um, so has it been very lucrative being a celebrity barber? I may say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. you know, you're dealing with corporate money, yeah. you know, budgets and you that, you know. You have to wait for the check from the companies and things like that? Yeah, the okay. normal, you know, 30 days turnaround yeah, thing, yeah, you know, yeah. invoicing, and that's that's when you're able to tax a little more because, you know, you're getting taxed on it yourself. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Have, has there ever been a time that you cut Jay-Z and he wasn't happy with the cut or you made a mistake, zeked him? You know, and these things happen as barbers, you know this. I, I, I'm asking all the questions that I think What's people, people at, might want to go. My jinx me. <laughs> no, I have. <laughs> uh, thank God I haven't. Uh -huh. um, I did one time with a with a with a normal client. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. And it's, but I'm pretty good at you know bringing it back, keeping it humble, and just yeah, bringing it back it to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn them away from the mirror. Exactly. All right. Um, is Jay Z a particular with his cut? Is he particular or is he like cool? Nah. Yeah, he is. Just like, you know, is what is cut yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. definitely, definitely. He likes to sit tight. He likes, you know, he, he knows what he likes, you know what I'm saying, what he wants. So, very particular with his stuff. Has cutting Jay-Z led you to maybe cut some other celebrities that might be friends of his or because they heard through the grapevine you cut Jay-Z, did you get an opportunity to cut anybody, oh. any other celebrities or apples? For sure, for sure. Uh, since then, I, I, I could pretty say everybody else. Yeah. Uh, uh, Pharrell. Uh, DJ Clue, Envy, Fab, Joe Buttons, Patrick Ewing, like you know, just 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 off the strength that they they know that I cut somebody yeah. like him. Right. You know what I'm saying? They feel all right. He must be a reputable dude. He right. must be, you know, he uh, must be uh, nice. Are they willing to pay like Jay? Some are not, and I understand <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad right. at that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. That's good. But you 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 won't get me out the shop for that. You know, you gotta come to the shop and normal prices at the shop. All right. Anything you want to add that maybe I didn't ask you or didn't come to my mind? I didn't have a script. We just bumped in here, and I just wanted to ask you some questions, and, and people need to know you. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. My uh, new little shirt line that I'm out, you know what I'm saying? It's on the promotional side right now. Uh -huh. But look out for it. Staycake.com, Staycake Apparel. And then, you know, it's a lifestyle. Okay. If, uh, tell people where you're located, your address, and how they might be able to get in contact with you. Yeah, my shop is located in Inglewood, New Jersey. It's called The Shop. You can go to theshopnj.com, staycake.com. You can go on Instagram, staycake, and holla at me. Just lastly, I'm inspired to do the next New York City Bar Battle. This is our fourth year. I'm, I'm putting it out there, and I'm working hard to do it at the Apollo Theater. Nice. And um, I'm wondering if you would be willing to be a judge. Oh, man, consider this deal right here. Of course. Why not? It's an honor. All right, thank you, man. You watch Barb World TV. We out. You're not watching Barber World TV. It's your man Johnny Cake. Make sure you stay cake. You heard? This episode was sponsored by Antique Barber, your favorite barber's barber brand.